I'd like to introduce you to my home seismograph project. It consists of a program that I wrote in the Java programming language. It's a graphing program. This graphing program is attached via a USB cable to my seismometer. And as I move this around, you can see it's sensing motion on my computer in my graphing program. This seismometer consists of an Arduino Uno microcontroller, a Bosch SensorTech accelerometer, it's the model BMA180, and it has a tricolor LED. This LED can show red, green, and blue. And as you notice, when I move this around, it changes the values up here. So if I turn this way, you can see that the x-axis is going up that way. When I move this way, the, x, the, the red goes all the way to the bottom. The x, y, and z axis corresponds to the red, green, blue colors. Now you may be wondering, why is it sensing acceleration right now? Well, it's sensing acceleration right now because it's sensing gravity. Gravity is a form of acceleration. So when you measure any, any sort of motion in this, one thing you have to do is you have to cancel out gravity. Uh, you may have to, over a period of time, just reduce the amount of gravity to, in order to sense the amount of change. Now the seismometer will eventually go into this project enclosure here that's much more robust than this prototype board here, this breadboard. Inside the project enclosure, it'll be mounted on these prototype boards and sealed up for, uh, in order to make sure that it can withstand some you know, dust and dirt and uh, a little bit of moisture. The wiring diagram for the seismometer can be found on my website, centralnexus.com slash seismograph. If you can't read this, you'll, get be, you'll be able to get more details from that website. This is the wiring diagram of how I connected the Arduino Uno to the BMA180. And this configuration right here is called an I2C bus. And over here is the LED light to show the amount of acceleration. So far, uh, this is my second revision of my seismometer. The first revision consisted of an analog device's ADXL345 accelerometer. This BMA180 has much better resolution, much lower, a much lower noise level than my analog device's accelerometer. So this will be my next one that I'll be putting in, and it will be recording uh, earthquakes uh, hopefully uh, pretty soon. I hope you like my seismograph.